Hey guys, I'm back today in the video to go out. Judy Money predicts the big wow. On Monday, Judy. On Monday morning, Judy Moody woke up early. What might have been Goki Old Mac past Monday? The Dina Simboki one bit. She did not put her tiger strip pajama pajama for school. She did not put on her I hate a shark t shirt. And she put her best mood ever coat. Purple dry pants, not itchy, fuzzy. Green sweater, fair star, and a screaming mini ice cream cone socks, and a mud ring. Light blue, light blue was the next best thing to purple. Light blue mean happy. Glad she was glad to have her ring back. She was happy with the word. Perfect, she said to the mouse. Mouse rubbed against the leg. On the bus, she told good jokes. Why did the third grader eat so many cornflakes? Judy asked her friend Rocky. I don't know, because all the snowflakes were melt. Asked, asked Rocky. No, said Judy. To get a mud ring. Judy cracked herself up. She told Joe's all way to school. Stink Pucky's ear. Rocky just nuffed his desk. The magic card. You're not laughing at my jokes, Judy complained. complained. Mm, I worried about Mr. Todd's map test, said Rocky. Frank Shans. Normally, Judy. Judy would have worry too, but not today. But her mood ring had just turned blue and green. So we left and come. Okay, class, and Mr. Toad. A new week. I know I have some few tests this week. Math test today. Spelling test on Wednesday. But don't forget, we have a special visitor next week, Monday, one from to today, and a real live author. She's also an artist. She wrote illustrated books about crayons. Baby book, as baby book, as Rocky. I think you find it interesting, said Mr. Toad. There's so much to know, know about crayons. Mr. Tony Brinson's crayon made a teacher so happy. In reading, Mr. Toad read Case in the Red Eye Mummy. Judy saw it before anyone else did. When it came to time to write a mystery, in a journal, Judy wrote the mystery of the missing mud ring, in which, she, in which she, Judy Moody, solved the case. All, mm, all morning, Judy raised her mud ring, and then everyone didn't know the answer. Even Mr. Tom noticed the ring. What's that you've got there? He asked Judy. A mud ring, said Judy. It predicts stuff. Like what? Mud you're in. Very nice, said Mr. Toad. Let's hope everybody's mood met in mud for the mat that class 3T. Pull, pull all books away, please. 
Beauty went over all, learned and over and asked her friend Frank Pearl if she has to be drinking. Yep, so Frank, but I'll be a half happy and a half glad. And it's over. Just look over the shoulder at Jessica. And GGJ is Jessica. I guess I will try and pull it that you can play with it. Jessica Finch. She looked relaxed and calm. Jessica Finch probably ate a a fraction for breakfast. One one of fourteen glasses of orange juice, one to two pieces of toast, three to four jar of strawberry jelly. Judy took her time on the test. She did not bit of grouchy pencil eraser. She did not make a grouchy face in the math test. She was relaxed, making up word for the Problem. Mm hmm. A rainbow has seven colors. Roy. Roy. Eagle has 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 a blue moodling and Frank has a red look. Red moodling. I think has a green moodling. How much of a rainbow do they have? And there and there have to be friction. Hence, there are four moodlings or four out seven colors in the rainbow. And it's there, four of them. At recess, everybody called around Judy. Let's get the money. Ooh, let me try. Time days and amaze her friend. Who wants to go first? asked Judy. Me, 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 me. Everybody pushed and shoved them back. Wait, said Judy. Before anyone predicted, Make everyone a prediction. Judy looked at the chart and came, came nervous. Rocky was nervous about the math test. Madam, and predicts me the rainbow turned ember on Rocky, said Judy. Rocky started doing a thing and turned black, turned it black. There's a picture of the kitchen meat leaf. And there's Judy Moody. Everybody crowd around Rocky to around Rocky to watch. Slowly it did put birth. Just like Judy said, how did you know? asked Rocky. Madam M knows all, said Judy. All predict will be like blue on Frank. I can feel it, said Judy. Blue is sad, said Frank. Because I don't feel sad, and I don't want to think of that thing. Like time I did have a club for me in college time, I was a human and a pill, and somebody broke my finger. Boo, dark blue, unhappy, said, come on, just trying the ring on. Frank slipped right into his finger. Judy crossed her finger. I blue light. Not a minute later, ring turned light blue. 
Same, same. My boot is happy, glad. That could turn me too. Woohoo! Frank got a same color as Judy. Frank, Pearl, Ju Frank, Pearl, and Judy are in love. Everybody teased. Frank, Pearl getting married to Judy Moody and already at the ring. Frank turned a bright Frank turned bright red and practically drew the ring with Jessica Finch. I hope it's pink on me, said Jessica. There's no pink, said Judy, but there's green. She started lightly on the ring. Before Jessica could try the ring on the but try the ring on the bell ring. Bell ring. The wishes was over. Three, two, one. Another setting. In silence. Mr. Todd was talking about the weather, the world temperature rising. Judy sharpened her pencil with her mudrings hand. She, she drew, she drew trash into the trash can with her mud rings hand, and she passed note to Frank with her mud rings hand. Judy did not see Mr. Toad's temperature rising. I wish I had a mud ring, whispered Jessica Frank. You have to eat a lot of cereal, Judy whispered back. Oh, a little too loudly. Judy, is there a problem in the dirt? No, said Judy, sitting on her hands. And so Mr. Toad turned back and back to boy. Judy played with the ring to make Jessica jealous. She twisted the ring and trolled the ring and spread the ring on her finger. It flew. It flew. Flew off and hit Mr. Toto and landed in Mr. Toto's feet. Mr. Toto bent over and picked up Judy, he said. I'm afraid I have to keep the ring for you until the end of the day. Judy turned one to three glad of the rest. Even Madam M had to have to predict that Mudring would get her into trouble. Mr. Toad slipped the ring into the top drawer and put it away. Judy thought she caught glimpses of color. Could it be? No, wait. Maybe it was. Mr. Toad might have seen the ring. But, but red and red and red. Hooked with a ruby sleeper. Rare spot! The sleeping bullet. Wait, what chapter is it? Chapter 5 Sleeping Speller That night, Judy met Frank in the library to study for spelling test. Hey! You've got your mood ring back from Mr. Toad! Said. <laughs> Then Mr. said Frank. <laughs> then when Judy arrived, yes, said Judy holding up her hand, and the mirror she would never not ever take a mood ring off again until it turned possible.
posit positively purple except at school. Of course, Mr. Toad had no more looking at school while she was at school. She would be sure to keep the thief hidden in extra special baby teeth. Box. Spark box sparkling of speaking of Mr. Toad. Have you seen the spelling word? asked Crane. They are hard, as in D I F F I C U L T. I know, difficult. Blah, 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 blah. Everybody, look there, here. Judy, look at the list. Goodbye, what's that word in the word? Goodbye. Too easy. W O O D B I N E. Everybody. Who knows? Hey, Queen. Queen. Went to the big dictionary and came back carrying, carrying a little white of hundred pounds. They opened it on the table. Goodbye, Judy. Read out a, a, a vine wrapped around trees, also called Virginia creeper. Frequent. Where? Said Judy. Creepy. This friend. I'm trying to study. Study, said Judy. Try. We only learned one word, says Judy. I mean, the train. Let's look at books, said Judy. Frank followed Judy along the row of high shelves. Ooh, what about. What books are these? It's all the dark and dusty. I hope there aren't any Virginia creepy lying around here, said Judy. No. Said Judy in a spooky voice. I'm going to try. I hope there is no version creepy. Find librarian. What did you get? Said Aunt when she came back. We take your head off, said Judy Moody. It's all the people predict stuff about the future. Ryan, help me find. Then help me find. She's a cool librarian with four pot, four in a pot earring. Uh, I'm actually a librarian. Hey, it's a big head book. I love those. How come they draw people with such big heads? Don't make sense anyway, Frank asked. Maybe it's it's told the big idea about the future. Look, see, said Judy, pointing at her book. These people predict earthquakes and fly fires baby being born in baby being born in Earthquake. Oh, an earthquake baby will die. 
Oh, he's fun, baby. Cool, I barely, I'm, nobody predicted the future frame. Candid, yeah, huh? Let's see. It says right here, book don't lie. Let me see, said Frank. See, Jen Dixon, famous American fortune teller. Washington, D.C. You know what happened to see is Washington. Washington, D.C. Wait. Published and restart this. Washington, D.C. is like there is a big map and in the south of America. There is Washington side, and I go to summer school there when I was six. I've seen stuff in whipping cream, yum, yum, yum. Two asks the gym. Hey, chocolate sprinkle, Judy said. They both crack up. Hey, look at this, said Judy. This book can help us with our spelling test. For real, no way. See this guy? A black guy with a bow tie. <clears throat> yep, it says he lived right here in Virginia. Constantly big poop head. Then he was our age. Like a hundred year ago, he got into trouble at school being bad speller. One night, one night he fell asleep, asleep with spelling book under his head. But when he woke up, he knew the words in the book rare. I'm not, I'm not, I'm still going to study, said Frank. Not me, said Judy, wriggling into her coat. What are you going to do, Judy asked. I'm going to go home and sleep, says Judy. When Judy got home, Stink was at the door. I don't have to study for my spelling test, she said. I gave him a big fat hug. What's that for? asked it. Just just for because because just before because what? Just because tomorrow I'm going I am going to know tons and tons of words. Like wood barn. Wood what? It's pee pee vine wraps around the tree. So, so go off my tree to her, says Judy. Judy. Judy went to find the dictionary. Fastest dictionary Moody looked in her room and she did not open. Her room. She did not open it up. She did not. She did not open it up. She did not look inside. She put the big red dictionary under the pillow. Then she got into the cozy bowling ball, bowling ball buzz, buzz, pajamas and pretend the bowling balls and crystal balls and brush. She, she drew saw the letter and to basically D for dictionary Judy climbed under the covers and learned back her pillow Yowch too hard She got two more pillows and left she's ready for dream She ever fell asleep and she dreamed being a clean spelling bee And then before sleep she dreamed being a spelling bee just like Jessica Finch. On time, the whole state of Virginia, she dreamed about Mr. to smiling face and pass back test. Most of all, dreamed getting 110 zero one plus extra credit in a spelling test. She could hardly wait for school tomorrow. For lunch, Judy Moody, not Jessica Frank, French, would get Thomas Jefferson trick on hat for the great, for great job.
but thank you. Adrian, you do what? And